October 11th, 2007 from New York. Hi, I'm Shelley Palmer. First up, Live Nation just inked a deal with Madonna for $120 million. They get three albums, tours if she feels like doing them, and merchandise. Her old label, Warner Music, still owns her back catalog, and they're entitled to two additional albums as well. Some analysts are saying that this deal marks a shift away from traditional record deals, maybe, but I think it simply illustrates how brilliant Madonna and Alan Grubman really are as a negotiating team. Of course, the beleaguered industry is focused on much more important issues, like suing schoolchildren for lunch money and inventing the Ringle. A new Booz Allen Hamilton study says that digital marketing still lags behind the shift in consumer behavior. The consulting firm says that marketers allocate less than 10% of their budgets to digital media, even though 80% of Americans are online. Less than a quarter of the marketers polled felt that they were digitally savvy. The other 75% couldn't fill in the online survey. Uh, just kidding. Eport is gaining traction. The electronic ad exchange is now up to 37 broadcast groups and 448 stations. Remember, Eport's not a marketplace, it's an electronic order system. FCC Chairman Kevin Martin said the FCC would not change the open platform requirement, which will force the winning bidder of the upcoming auction to allow any device or software to work with the network. Verizon has filed a lawsuit to block the Google-backed open access rule. Open access will ultimately be very, very good for consumers. CBS has purchased DotSpotter, a 10-month-old website dedicated to celebrity gossip for $10 million. The TV business is so predictable. Show a little success with TMZ and soon everybody's got to have their own gossip site. Until next time, for Media Bytes, I'm Shelley Palmer. For news you can use about technology, media, and entertainment, visit Media 3.0 with Shelley Palmer at Media3.0.com. That's M-E-D-I-A 3.0.com.